Hey everyone, welcome back. The new GBL season was just announced along with move updates and the full schedule, so let's check it out. Alright, so Go Battle League Mythical Wishes update. Go Battle League Mythical Wishes start date rank reset and end of so this season looks like it's going to be starting on Thursday, December 1st. So that is coming up this week. So as always, don't forget your star piece, uh, 1 p.m. PST GMT minus 8. So you you can convert that into whatever your time zone is and the ranking up requirements will be the same as previous seasons. So no updates to that. The Season of Light schedule. Wait, that says <laughs> Niantic. Mythical Wishes schedule. Uh, starting with a Great League and Great League remix for one week. I'm okay with that. Moving on to the Great League and Fighting Cup Great League remix. Um, there are some bans coming in for the Fighting Cup remix, which we will look at. Uh, but two weeks of Open Great League, which is always fine. Ultra League and Ultra Premier Classic. I believe they also said this is the last time they're bringing back the Classic Cups, but we'll verify that later. Um, another week of Ultra League and then bringing back a Great League Cup with Holiday Cup Great League Edition. The next thing is they are adding Ultra League to a lot of the cups. We saw this before with Halloween Cup Ultra League. Let me know what you guys think of all the new Ultra League versions. Um, but we do have Ultra League for two weeks and Premier Classic. So if you're an Ultra League player, then you still get two weeks there. And it looks like we're still getting two weeks of Master League. So starting off right off the bat, two weeks of each Open Cup. Uh, we get three times Stardust rewards during Master League and Holiday Cup Ultra League. And then so we're actually getting two weeks of the themed Ultra League Holiday Cup, but only one week for the Great League version of all of these cups. Hmm. So I always find it interesting when they put the triple Stardust rewards, um, it seems to always happen with Master League, at least in the recent times. It's been Master League Go Battle Day, Master League this, Master League. And it would make sense that it would be to try and get more players to play Master League. But the issue is if you put the triple Stardust on Master League, you already have to have the Pokemon to be able to play Master League in order to get that triple Stardust. So really they should put it on Great League and then put like, some other extra rewards like you could i don't know still have a go battle day for master league but put the stardust on something more accessible so that we can afford to play the master league just saying i, th I think that's about the halfway point of the season because then we have a week of all the open leagues coming back which is pretty standard then we have um great league and weather cup i believe we had weather cup before but weather cup coming back um with another so we'll have three weeks here in a row of open great league so that's looking good for a lot of players out there. Then we have Great League and Electric Cup. Electric Cup is new. Then we have Ultra League and Ultra League Premier. Then we have another week Ultra League and Love Cup's coming back, of course, on the week of Valentine's Day. Love Cup for Great League Edition. And then Master League. Again, Triple Stardust being put on Master League, Master League Premier. But there is one week where we have Hoenn Cup for Great League. Hoenn Cup, I don't think it's too bad. I feel like I've played that before. Anyway, Hoenn Cup coming back with three times Stardust on a Great League eligible cup. So that looks good for players. All right, regarding Classic Cups, this is probably what a lot of people are interested in. Trainers, as Candy XL has continued to become more accessible thanks to Candy XL becoming available at level 31 rather than level 40, and Rare Candy XL being potential reward for completing in-person raids, we will be retiring the Classic Cup format this season and we will be running Premier Cups more frequently in future seasons instead. No, that's not, no, bad. <laughs> Trainers, as Candy XL has continued to become more accessible, that's assuming that it was accessible in the first place. The XL system is totally busted. Like, this this is not... No. Now that Pokemon Go is being added into the official play circuit, then if you're coming over from another game like TCG or VGC or something like that, and you see Pokemon Go and you want to try it out, uh, you have to have a hefty chunk of XL Pokemon. And it's not accessible. I don't know why Niantic thinks it's accessible. It's really not. Mythical Wishes... Go Battle Days. All right, so here are our Battle Days. Um, Saturday, January 14th to Sunday, January 15th, you will get four times Stardust from win rewards, um, but the number of sets will be increased from five to 20 for a total of 100 battles. Timed Research. Time Research focus on battling will be available for the whole weekend. Complete the research to earn the following rewards, XP, Rare Candy, Rings Inspired by Steven Stone, Ruby Sapphire, 
Trainers who have already received the avatar item from the rank 20 rewards will not receive another. Okay, so it's just if you haven't gotten to rank 20 yet, then you can still get the bonus item that you would get from hitting rank 20 during this time to research. And an elite charge TM. Uh, I'm all for elite charge TMs being in free research, and I think this being timed research, making it free is good. Paywalls are the worst, and will destroy the competitive scene. So on the first go battle day here at least, then all three open leagues will be available. Okay, so the next one is go battle day Vulpix. Alright, uh, I'm okay with that. If this doesn't let us TM away frustration, then Shadow Canto Ninetales doesn't become accessible during this time. So just a lot of... Mm, okay. Enjoy a Go Battle Day featuring Vulvix. This is going to be on Sunday, February 12th. Wait, so does that mean the first... Is the first Go Battle Day a full weekend? I think it is. We get four times Stardust for wins. The maximum sets, again, up to 100. Total battles, not sets. Uh, available feature Pokemon is Vulpix. You'll be guaranteed to appear as a reward encounter. All win rewards for the premium track will be reward encounters. So if you use a premium pass, then it's still just going to give you a bunch of Vulpix. Uh, and you'll have a chance of finding a shiny. Uh, time to research on this day will be a chance to get XP, rare candy, Meltank, and an Elite Charge GM. So I guess we're getting also Meltank during the Vulpix day. Okay. Evolve Vulpix to get a Ninetales that knows a fast attack Ember. Ninetales. Oh my gosh, it is Legacy. Interesting. I don't know if that's good or not, though. Because if there is a Rocket Day before this, you're definitely going to want to TM Frustration away off your Vulpix and then wait until the Vulpix Battle Day to evolve to get your Shadow Ember Ninetales, which I believe is what Cindy used to uh, win the Vancouver Regionals last season. Shadow Ember Ninetales, uh, definitely viable. I think if you're just going to do a normal Ninetales, not Shadow, then you might want to just stick with Fire Spin. But and the active leagues here will be Ultra League and Willpower Cup. What? Why Willpower Cup? Go Battle League Season of Light. No Niantic. Whoever proofread this just didn't. Go Battle League. Mythical wishes, mythical wishes. Guaranteed rank up encounters. You get a Metang at one, that's good for Master League. Marini, good for Great League. Axew. Shiny is good for the Pokédex. Uh, Noibat, it's not even shiny. Gumi, Gumi could be like a flex pick for Great League, maybe Ultra League. And of course, the Pikachu Libre. So your standard counters could be Poliwag, that's not bad. Uh, Politoed and Poliwrath, both pretty good for Great League. Metacham generally wants like pretty good IVs. Um, and I don't know if research encounters are going to give you the best for that, but you can get a shiny. And you can check out my video with my battle against bird power if you want to see why Metacham's IVs do matter. Uh, we also have a shiny Sfeel. Um, I think there's some Walrens making their way back in the LAIC that happened just this past weekend. So Walren not out of it yet, but again, suffers from IV floor. Uh, shiny Wingle. Wingle, uh, Pelipper, good getting a buff. We'll talk about that later. Swablu, everyone knows Altaria. Again, all of these IV floor problems. Next rank 6 plus, we have Skarmory, Frillish, Mian Fu. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Skarmory and Frillish, pretty good picks. Uh, me and Fu, just a Pokédex entry, I guess. Then we have, I don't know why Onyx. I guess Steelix is kind of usable, but eh. Lickitung, uh, Lickitung, yeah. You need, that Pokémon needs to be way more accessible. There needs to be like five more raid days for that, at least, because, again, top pick, one of the least accessible Pokémon. Moving on, we have Jutini, just got buffed. Jutini, pretty good. Swinob is a Pokémon, and Marini, can't go wrong with getting more uh, Marini, especially because you need XL Candy for that in Great League as well. Meltank, Hisuian Sneasel, interesting. Graggy, 5-star Raid Boss. Then, so whatever the 5-star Raid Boss is, you can get that as well at rank uh, 20. And then once you get your EL review, you get Axew with a shiny chance at um, Ace rank, at Veteran rank, Noibat again. I don't know why they keep pushing Noibat. And then Gumi. Why are they pushing Noibat and Gumi? I don't know why. I don't know why they're pushing those two. This timed research will keep track of your victories throughout the season and require... Uh, yeah, okay. This is going to be the exact same it was this season, which is fine. It's just free extra Stardust. Although, I feel like they shouldn't put this in the shop. I feel like because it's free, it should just be there. It would probably make more players 
notice it and play the game if it was just there. But maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Avatar items and other rewards. Pikachu Libre Avatar items will be rewarded to trainers who reach rank 3, which is only like a few battles. At Ace rank, you'll receive the rings. At Veteran rank, you'll receive the shoes. Expert rank, you'll receive the shirt. Legend rank, you receive the pose. And then once you at rank 19, you'll receive Elite Charge TM. You'll also relieve, re receive an Elite Fast TM as the end of season reward. And I think they're just re... Yeah, this is a reused pose. <laughs> they're just animating it. Uh, they're just, yeah, reusing an animated pose. So Also, is anyone else getting like... Um, what's that one show? Does anyone else get Fairly Odd Parents vibes from this? That logo really gives me Fairly Odd Parent vibes, but... So here's the remix list. This is good. Great League Remix. So we have Venusaur, Nidoqueen, a Tails, Lickitung, Lantern, Azumarill, Umbreon, Skarmory, Swampert, Sableye, Metacham, Terio, Walrin, Registeel, DD, uh, Defense Form, Deoxys, that is, Bastiodon, Scrafty, G Fisk, Talonflame, and Trevenant. Is there anything that looks like it's missing from here? There's got to be something that I'm not thinking of off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, that looks fine. Uh, Noctowl. Uh oh. Noctowl is not on this list, and something like Lantern. Uh, both the big steals, Bastiodon, a lot of Noctowl's checks are also banned. Cofagrigus and Noctowl are the two that are standing out to me as going to be really strong, I think, for here. But yeah, we'll find out. Ultra League, Pokemon, yep, yeah, Ultra League's normal. Ultra League Premier just means that we're getting rid of Mythical and Ultra Beast, as we usually know. Ultra League Premier Classic means that you get no XLs. And then uh, this is, again, the last season that they're doing any kind of banning XLs, which is stupid. Master League, open everything. Master League Classic, Master League Mega Edition. So they are going to be allowing Mega Pokemon uh, in GBL, which they've only done, I believe, one other time where they allowed one, well, I guess you can only have one Mega at a time, but they allowed Mega Pokemon in Master League one other time to give it a shot for like a day, and I think it was Gyarados just kind of ran everything over, so we'll see. Fighting Cup Great League Edition, we are getting rid of, oh, I can just move me up there. All right, we are getting rid of Hakmo'o, Komo'o, Scorapi, <laughs> Buzzful, and Sneasler. <laughs> so, Buzzful, Sneasler, Hakamo'o, Komo'o, those being banned because, uh, well, the two dragons were busted in the first time it came around, and Sneasler was really only accessible via cheating, and also Sneasler was pretty good, um, but Skoruppi is banned. Thank God whoever proofread this really, really didn't proofread this. And Psychic Pokemon, not eligible again. Holiday Cup, um, it's another Great League, so 1500 CP. And then we get Normal, Grass, Electric, Ice, Flying, and Ghost. Um, I can't, I feel like this cup was fairly spread out and there's a couple, of, there's a, a fair amount of different options. Uh, whenever you see something like Normal without like Fighting type, even though Ghost is in there, uh, it still seems to be a Vigoroth heavy cup. So get your Vigoroths ready. Holiday Cup Ultra League is the same thing in Ultra League, so get your XL Pokemon ready. Lickitung will be everywhere, but in Ultra League, you don't really get XL Vigoroth, so maybe it'll be a little different in Ultra League this time around, but anyway. Weather Cup, uh, Pokemon, again, 1500, you get Fire, Water, Ice, and Rock. Looks like Water is going to be, hands down, the best typing there. I feel like we did Weather Cup before, but I don't remember it. Just looks like Water is going to be the best. Um, I guess Rock type, you get Cradley is the only grass type that can really answer. Is there anything with like, I guess you get lantern for electric types, so then you just run Swampert for the water. Yeah, it's gonna be a Cradley Swampert cup. Seems like that one might be a little meh. Electric cup, this one's new. So in this one, it's only electric type, just like how it was for all the other like type-based cups, but they did get rid of Unovan Stunfisk, thank God, and Charge Bug. So what else do you have left? You get things like Pachirisu who kind of show up a little bit, uh, Zapdos, another flying electric. Although, like, I feel like the flying electrics kind of suck here. Yeah, so what's going to be good here? You have, like, a lot of electric types are, like, just electric. And then you have the Unovan Graveler and Golem. Um, you have the Alolan Raichu, which has Grass Knot. And also, it has Grass Knot. It has a lot. It just has every move. That's good. Um, what other electric type Pokemon? They don't get used that much. 
You know, Butters is going to use Ampharos, of course. Voltorb has foul play, so that could answer Raichu. We have Lantern, but Lantern... I guess Lantern could hit the Graveler line. I don't know. This is going to be an interesting cup. Maybe we'll have to throw this into PV Poke and see what it looks like. Uh, Love Cup, Great League Edition. Uh, this is what we've seen before. Only red or pink colored Pokemon are el eligible, as well as whatever Niantic forgets to code out. Hoenn, Great League Edition. This is just Pokemon, not that are in the Hoenn Pokédex, but that were added in the Hoenn region. It's going to be good there. I don't know. We might throw that in PV Poke too. So this is what we've all been waiting for. Attack changes. Wing attack, trainer battles, chance to lower the opposing Pokemon's attack is no longer guaranteed. That's not Niantic. That's not a thing. Wing attack is a fast move. It never did that. I think though wing attack did actually get buffed and I think maybe somewhere down below it actually says what it really does but I'm pretty sure it got buffed. Poison Fang energy cost increased no more one two three four five Nidal Queen. So Charm everyone's favorite nerf for the season. Charm is going down one damage. Uh, we'll see if that does anything. Uh, Litleo and Pyroar will get incinerate so they're adding Meteor Beam to Sudowoodo, Agron, uh, Tyrantrum, and Aurorus. Uh, they did just add Poltergeist on the last Community Day, I believe, and Golark, Gorgeist, and Dusclops will get it. Super high energy cost and super high damage, so do these Pokemon really need it? I don't think so. I feel like Gorgeist already had a good moveset. Golark is, has other issues. Poltergeist is not going to help it. D same thing with Dusclops. Galarian, Rapidash, Pilloswine, and Mamoswine get high horsepower, also just added. I think it's an upgrade to Bulldoze for Pilloswine. And then Brutal Swing getting added to Ampharos and Galarian Re Weezing. That actually probably for Ampharos and Electric Cup, that might be really good. Because I don't think there's going to be anything that resists Brutal Swing and Electric Cup. I'm having a hard time thinking of Electric types, guys. Like, we just don't use them, so... <laughs> Okay, that is all. So what is the actual wing attack changes? I think someone found somewhere that it's supposed to be that wing attack got, I think it's an energy increase by just a tiny bit, but it's enough to make it so that Noctowl instead of like 767 seven or something like that, it's like 665 for your sky attacks. If that is the right change, then wing attack could actually be really good on Pidgeot now. Pidgeot has Gust, and it sims really well, but it doesn't play very well. So a buff to wing attack might be really good for Pidgeot. Overall, my final thoughts are whoever made this page uh, did not proofread it at all. There are way too, just way too many uh, typos and mistakes just all over this page that were, I think, easily avoidable with just, like, one more run through. Niantic needs to stop putting the extra Stardust on Master League because if you can afford to play Master League already, then you already have that dust. And so if they want people to play Master League, which is what it looks like, they need to move the Stardust bonuses down to Great League and then put some other bonus on Master League, like better, like other, I don't know, other awards, better encounters or like more TMs or something else for Master League rewards if that's what they want people to play and then move the Stardust to somewhere where people can actually play the game to get the Stardust to then play Master League. So let's check Electric Cup real quick. Let's just come up with a quick PV Poke Sim. And yeah, so looks like we have Alolan Graveler up at top. Oh, Hisuian Electrode has Grass type. Forgot about that. That, that will be pretty good. Luxray having options for um, Psychic Fangs, another neutral damage, that's going to be good. Togedemaru finally actually might be good at something, um, but still Thundershock, Felsting, or Wild Charge. It's simming good here, but you can see it's still 11 points down from the next thing above it. So like Graveler, I know this is like without weights and everything because it's just a custom, but Graveler atop with 100 like Volt Switch and then Double Rock moves, yeah. Electrode having fast charging like Thundershock into Energy Ball and having it be a move that is not electric type, so it's not resisted. That's up top. Same thing with Psychic Fangs, Luxray, and then the next thing down is Togedemaru, which is 11 points down. So, like, everything below the top three is a lot closer in ranking. Even then, like, so the Alolan Golem is a lot lower because it doesn't have Stone Edge. Instead, it's running Wild Charge. Um, Geodude Alolan is still top 10, is a, is, is a, is a Geodude, because it has Volt Switch and a Rock Slide. Uh, Minen has Grass Knot, so that's showing up. I think this cup is just going to be Alolan Graveler, Hisuian Electrode, and Togedemaru. Good luck with that cup. 
So those are the updates for the upcoming Go Battle League season. Let me know what you think, what your favorite cups are gonna be, and what are you gonna do about Electric Cup? That's what I'm most curious about. So uh, thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.